Hey, my name is Tash. I'm co-founder at TechVisa. And today we're going to be taking a deep dive into employer-sponsored visas. So if you're a business owner in Australia and you're looking to sponsor employees, or if you're an employee and you're looking at your options, this entire session is for you. In this video, we're going to cover the 482 temporary skill shortage subclass through to the 186 employer sponsored pathways. All right. Let's kick things off with the 482 Temporary Skill Shortage subclass. This is a fantastic visa, which can be used as an amazing retention strategy. And this visa allows skilled workers to come to Australia and work for an employer for four years on a temporary basis. There are three main stages involved with this subclass. Firstly, the sponsoring business will need to be set up as a standard business sponsorship. Following that, we're straight on to the nomination. And then finally, you're on to the last step, and this is the visa application. All of these stages can be submitted at the same time. Now, let's go a little bit deeper into each of these stages. So first things first, the standard business sponsorship. This is where we need to ascertain that the business is lawful and operating. The SBS application is assessed against a number of business supporting documents, such as operational documents through to financial statements. The SBS application is valid for five years and during this time period you can sponsor as many 482 workers as you need. Focusing in on the nomination application, which is the second stage, this is where the business must demonstrate that there is a genuine need for the position. And the criteria documents that you need for this application are summarised here on this slide. The visa application, this is where the candidate needs to prove their skills and experience are perfectly aligned for the position that they've been nominated for. So a few key features of the 482 visa, you can apply inside or outside Australia, there's no age limit, there's pathways to permanent residency and you can bring all of your family as well along with you. Moving on to the permanent residency pathway, we're going to take a closer look at the 186 Employer Nomination Scheme. This visa provides permanent residency pathways for skilled workers looking to work and live permanently in Australia. The 186 application consists of two main elements. We've got the nomination application and the visa application. Those two main elements, the nomination application is where the company nominates that candidate for the occupation through to the visa application stage, where again, they're required to prove their skills and experience for this application. This subclass has two main streams. You've got the direct entry and the temporary resident transition stream. A key requirement of the temporary resident transition pathway is that the applicant must have worked for two years whilst holding that 482 and remaining in the position with the company. Other requirements are listed on this slide. Direct entry, a couple of key, key requirements on this one. The applicant must hold a valid skills assessment and have a minimum of three years experience in the nominated occupation. Key features, work and study in Australia, remain in Australia indefinitely, and of course, getting all of your family to join you on this permanent voyage. 